I get asked all the time how InsideSales.com came to be. Well, it all started over a decade ago when I had built up a team of over 70 inside salespeople at Franklin Covey. I wanted my people to have a dialer. Ken would come to me wanting dialers for his sales teams, but our Harris phone system didn't support those dialers. I researched the need and eventually left Franklin and started a company that provided telephony tools like dialers. Next thing I know, Mike leaves Franklin, and I still don't have my dialers. So we had to be extremely creative and make do with paper and a few powerful techniques to be successful. We soon became the fastest growing department in Franklin, but I knew we could have done a lot more with dialers. Well, we started my ACD uh, really in response to our research. We looked at the market and we could see that companies wanted access to these high-end call center technologies by renting them rather than by buying them and putting them in, the, in their own closet. And often these systems cost millions of dollars and so many companies just can't afford the capital outlay that's required to buy them. And so we, we built a set of technologies, we put them in a network, we partnered with a company by the name of iLink who was a voice over IP network and embedded those technologies there. I was involved when Franklin was among the fastest growing companies in America. After achieving my goals there, I left in 1997 and helped to found a long distance company named UCN. After a few years, we were approached to buy the assets of a failed voice over IP company called iLink that was just, well, ahead of its time. I showed up at a meeting and there across the table from me is Ken Krogh. Ken's now with a company by the name of UCN. And he comes back to me with the same question he'd asked years before, what about my outbound dialers? Well, that was the beginning of our relationship with UCN. Eventually, UCN sees our technology, they get excited about what we're doing, and eventually they acquire my company. The first thing we realized is that we needed a CRM solution to integrate with our dialers. We first tried a little program called Goldmine, but we took it to its knees in a week. We kept looking for something with more horsepower, and eventually we found a little company that had just finished a huge CRM project for Intel. Come to find out, Intel is spending 30 grand a month with Salesforce.com and their salespeople feel it is way too complex. So they hired Dave's company to write and license a web-based CRM that's just as powerful, but easier to use. Ken and I went to lunch as soon as we finished developing uh, the application for the partner that uh, actually paid for the development uh, of the software. And as soon as Ken and I went to lunch, we talked about the possibility of combining the hosted CRM application with some telephony backend. And so we tried it. And very quickly, we found uh, incredible productivity increase. We actually talked to a few customers uh, that baited the product for us and found that uh, we had as much as a three to four times increase in the number of dials. And even more interestingly, uh, we had a three to four times increase in the results, so the revenue generated from the same time spent. Um, after maybe six months of development, we then went to uh, uh, a few of our partners, had them try it in, uh, in a production environment and they found the same sort of results and at that point we were excited and we knew we had something to go with. The name was critical. I told Dave that the best name we could possibly get was the name of the fastest growing segment in all of sales and marketing, InsideSales.com. We found the guy who owned it and he needed money. Somehow we were able to get it. 